Hey, what's up, y'all? Oh, there's that. We didn't change that. It's been a Monday. Let's try that again. <laughs> professional. Always professional. All right. Cheers, guys. been that kind of day. What can you do, right? Sometimes you just, sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. I feel like I'm the bug today. Cheers. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Lunchtime with Heavy Cardboard. We're gonna, we're gonna play a little tick and write today, all right? Y'all, me, y'all, me, me, y'all. I'm Edward, Heavy Cardboard, welcome everybody watching live around, around the world as well as after the fact. Today we are going to be playing Shadow of the Obelisk, designed by, and I'm going to butcher it again, my good friend Philip, one of the main guys over at Board and Dice, I'm not even going to try, I give up today. So, published by Board and Dice. This is set in the, uh, inspired by, if you will, uh, Tekenu, Obelisk in the Sun. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, exactly. And Rainer says, and sometimes when you've had that kind of day, you play a tick and right with the herd. Exactly. That's exactly what's going to go on today. So you guys hopefully have printed off uh, down in the, uh, in the description, the sheet, and we're going to go through the full teach again, which it's going to be real quick. Give me, give me three minutes. Ready? Let's do this. Set go here we go so there are going to be three tiles out here that i'm going to shuffle up when i am the active player i'm going to go first you guys will go second when i am the active player i'm going to rotate one of these say this one like so when i do so i get the i take the top symbol you guys take the bottom symbol it happens to be the same one in that case if it were this one i would get that symbol you guys would get that symbol all right easy enough when you guys are the active player i'm going to roll a six-sided die so that is going to be one two three four and five six whatever number i get i'm going to rotate that one okay and then the one that i rotate i get the bottom of and then you guys get the top of either of the other two it is your choice okay now now that you have a symbol what are you going to do with it you might be asking well I'm glad you asked there are three things that you can do you can either build the obelisk tetris e over here starting at the base working your way up or you can scribe a scroll which is going to be over in here or you can carve symbols which is going to be over here as well as over here. So we'll start with the obvious one, which is building the obelisk. So let's say I have this symbol right here. Now I can rotate, I can flip, I can do whatever, I can mirror, I can do whatever I want with this, but once I've decided, I then outline that symbol, something along the lines of that. And you know what, I realize it's a pencil, but we're gonna go ahead and do something that shows up a little bit easier for you guys, in theory. There we go. I don't know why I would expect it to be any different today. Let's try this. <laughs> so, like so. So I would put it over here. Okay. Now, if there were any little spots that got completely blocked off or whatever, I would just scribble those out like so. Easy enough. Now, again, I can rotate this one like you notice i did right i can rotate i can flip i can mirror whatever it is i want but once that's done it's done done and i can build on top i could wedge something in as long as it fits etc etc easy enough when you reach this line right here either reach it or surpass it then this area over here is going to be unavailable you're just going to literally in theory, okay, calling for the big guns. 
that's no longer available. When you reach this line or go past it, this area is now available. If you've already used symbols that are in there, then don't worry about it. It's not retroactive. Just going forward, you can't. And once you reach the top, that's going to trigger the end of the round or the end of the game, but also all of that area won't be available. That is building the obelisk. Any questions on that? Good. We're going to move on. Now, if you have a square symbol like so, whether it's you or me, you can choose to outline an area over here. Let's say I outline, say that, like so. I then take those symbols and I would write them over here. Like that, and there, and like that, okay? Done. Then, on one of my turns, I can basically take a second turn. If it's me, I will rotate another one of these guys. If it's you guys, and I, if you're the active player and I'd rotated this one, normally you choose this or this. As it were, if you choose to take your extra turn, you will get both of the top symbols. Okay, easy enough. And when you use that one, what's going to happen is you're just going to mark it off like so. You're going to get three points for that at the end of the game. If this one's been filled, whenever you choose to uh, scribe a scroll, you then do it up here. But again, obviously, once you've done this, you can't use those symbols anymore. Okay? Good. And you can do this up to three times for a total of nine points. Okay, good. Easy enough. Now, the last thing that you can choose to do... Yes, pen does not work so well on top of the laser printed sheet. So, here we go. Uh, the third thing you can do is you can carve symbols. So let's say throughout the course of the game I had gotten this symbol here. I had gotten maybe another one right there from like using this or whatever, and maybe I got another one right there using that. Now, what I, I'm just going to cross these off to make a exaggeration of this. All of these symbols have been built now, okay? So whenever I choose to carve a symbol, it must fit somewhere within this area. Now it can overlap between these, because these are interlocking pieces and now this is just one solid block right here. So all of this area. So let's say on my turn I had that symbol and I say, hey, I'm going to, or I'm going to carve symbols. Then maybe I choose to do this. I put it over here and then I'm going to put an eye there. I'm going to put an eye there. I'm going to put that other one right there and a couple of squigglies right here, and I've carved that symbol right there. Does that make sense? Because all of this and all of this is now one built area on here. So those are your three things that you can do. Use this shape to build the obelisk. You can carve symbols like what I just did over here, or I can scribe a scroll, which is eventually giving me, on a subsequent turn, an extra turn. At the end of the game, we're going to score points. Now, because we are playing along together, these numbers don't matter and don't exist. You reach this line, you're going to score two points. You reach that line, by the end of the game, you get three points. You reach that line, you're going to get five points. Then you're going to get nine, six, or three, depending on how many times you've got filled these in. And then, at the end of the game, each column, you're going to score one point for each symbol or each of the same symbol in that area. Then, for each row, you're going to score three, five, eight, or 13 points for having the same symbol in the same row. So it behooves you to have the same symbol in the same row. So as it is on this one, I will have gotten three points for having that like so. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. And there's a refresh as far as these will go away as well. And that will happen after each of us take our turn. All right, good, easy enough. Let's get into it, shall we? Let me bring up, just to make sure, and a big thanks, by the way, to Rainer, who sent me this. This appeared as a mystery uh, last week in my mail, so that's kind of fun. And also to Rainer for coming up with the, uh, the play-along aspect of this. Okay? Cool? Cool. All right. All right. So I am going to gather up. I'm going to gather up these three, 
and I'm going to shuffle up those, where are they? Oh, hell, I'll do it right here. You guys can see this. All right. So trying to keep them all facing the same way. All right, peanut gallery, pick a number one through 12. That's how many I'm going to move to the bottom of this shuffling stack. Now, when I get two of the same number, I will finish shuffling and you guys, let me make sure they're all facing the same. Yeah, good, all right, okay. Then we'll get started. Whew. Four it is. One, two, three, and four. Oh God, hold on. Nope, that way. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle this one more time and then I'm gonna, there we go. So four, four of them. One, two, three, and four to the bottom. These back on top and here we go. So I need to figure out where the hell to put these. There we go, there's one. That's going to be two-ish. And wow, that's those are the same two, aren't they? And three-ish. All right. So there's that. Those are not at all even. Try and do that. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to bring up that and make sure I am ready to rock and roll. All right. So uh, you know what? Let's let's make it fair. Uh, odd since I'm having an odd kind of day, odd number, I go first, even number, you guys go first. Odd, I go first. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I am the active player, so I'm going to choose one of these three to rotate. I will get the top, and then you guys will get the bottom of whatever one I choose. So, let's see. Uh... You know what? I hear extra turns are good, so let's go ahead and start it off even. Ah, there we go. So I get this symbol. You guys get that symbol. It happens to be the same. All right, so you could either draw here, right? Here. Um, oh, actually, you can't carve a symbol because you have no space here. Or here. So go ahead and choose. And... I am going to use, do I, I do have a fine tip Sharpie. That will work. I'm going to use a fine tip Sharpie for, for mine. And so I don't mess this up, any more sheets, since it kind of bleeds through, I will do like that. There we go. Um, for different symbols. Oh, I, I lied. Rows are different symbols. I don't know why I told you guys otherwise. I apologize. So I, oh, don't, don't you really, there we go. I'm going to do that. And All right, there we go. Good. Okay, all right. Yes, all the sheets are the same. I know this. Yeah, over under on Glory to Rome is probably two and a half. I feel pretty, pretty confident about that, that the over is going to be a good bet with this one. All right, so hopefully, uh, hopefully everyone's done, right? You've made your decision. Uh, so now I am going to roll for you guys. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six is what's going to get rotated. And that's the one you guys can't choose. So here we go. I'm just going to roll like this six. So that means this one, what that means is I get the bottom of that. You guys get the top of this or this, or if you did like I did, then you will get the top here and the top there. So up to you, okay? And in my case, 
I can rotate this, remember, if I wish. But that's four symbols, huh? Well, that wasn't really good. That wasn't really helpful for me, but let's go and get a base going. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. So, somebody, let me know when you guys are ready, right? Talk to me, Goose. Exactly, but only if using the scribe to get both. Exactly, Lars. You nailed it. Y'all ready for the next one? Mm, 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 mm. Sorry. It's actually a refresh phase. Now, now that we have taken our turns, okay, or a renewal phrase, okay, you guys uh, were the last player, so I'm going to now roll the die to figure out which of those three are going to disappear. Let's roll for real. There we go. So three, so it's going to be this one is going to go away. We're going to draw another one and it always comes in face up. There we go. Okay. All right. And uh, hey, Rainer, do we switch turns? I think so, right? That would make sense. Oh, the bar is four. Uh, it's been that kind of day. Okay, I give up with the small. The small one, I... There we go. I assume we alternate. I'm cheating. Don't mind me. All right, so you guys now are going first. So we will figure out who is, which one I'm going to rotate. One, so I'm going to get the bottom up here. You guys get the top either there or there. And remember, you can mirror, you can flip, you can do all those things. So now that I'm getting the bottom of this one, I will. There we go. That's better. Okay. There we go. Sheesh. And I, I do want to point out that even though I have my, uh, my scroll over here, I cannot use it because I am not the active player. Okay? All right? Okay. Cool. All right. I'm going to assume that you guys are ready. So now, what do I want to do? Which one do I want to use? I kind of like... Ah, that's the one I want. The one that I want is that one. All right, so it's my turn. So I'm going to get this one. You guys are getting that one. Remember, when it's my turn, you guys cannot use your scribes. Okay. So. All right. So now question is, do I want to use one of those? Hmm. Nope. Maybe. Nope, not yet. Okay, so I am done with my turn. I went second, all right? So now I get to choose which to discard. Um, you know what? We're going to discard this one. 
There we go. So we'll bring that one in. And that comes out. All right. Yes, exactly. So now that I have hit that line, all of this is now unavailable to me. Okay? That's okay. I still have all of that space. We're, we're plenty good. All right. So now I am the first player. Now, uh, Hmm. Trying to visualize what I want and it's not working. So, ah, you know what? This will. I'm going to use that one. So I'm using this. You guys are using this. Okay, so I'm using that one. Yeah, I'm going to stay on target. Okay. Technically, when do we finish? When anyone reaches the top line? Technically, yes. And then we finish that turn. And... And now, and now, I'm going to use this scribe, and I have to tick a worker. And I'm going to tick that one, and I'm going to use the top. This is just me. Just me. So, I had it planned out. Where was it? It was going to be here. No, nope, wait. I had it. Damn it. Where'd it go? Yeah, it's that one. Okay, so now, now I will try and switch pens for this. So, what I will do is... There we go. Art is not my, uh, art was not my strength. All right, cool. So it's your guys' turn. So now I am going to roll a die again and uh, see which one. Five. So this one gets rotated. I get to use this one here. You guys can use either that or that. You're welcome. So I get that. So let's see. Um, hmm. Aha, 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 aha. I think I, no, that didn't work. Damn it. There it is. So then I am going to go here. And then that will be. There. Squiggly, squiggly, half moon. Oh, wow, my, my drawing is terrible. Yes, sorry, Rainer. All right. 
Top line. If anybody reaches this top line, they need to holler. I hope no one has done that. That would be really bad. All right. So now, I assume you guys have made your decisions. So now I'm going to roll to rotate or to remove one for the renewal. Okay. Oh, you guys can't see that. Hold on. Whoop. There we go. So the three, that means this one goes away. We get a new one. There we go. And now it is y'all's turn to go first. So, all right. So I rotate this one. So I get the bottom here. You get the top there or the top there. Hmm. Okay, well, not really what I wanted you guys to do here. Ugh. So on my turn, I'm going to get to choose one of those. So if I were to put a T there and a T there, it leaves that. Eh, it's really not that great. <sighs> So I need one of those little cross doohickeys. Down on the bottom. Oh, that's it. It's this. So this is just a little reminder for me. Okay. So there's that. So what one... And I want the little, uh, oh, that sucks. What one do I want? Mm. I don't know what, fine. I don't like it, but I guess. All right, there. All right, so it's my turn now. I want that symbol so bad. Um, but you know what? Not the end of the world, honestly. So, okay. All right. I'm going to rotate this one. I'm going to get that symbol. You guys are going to get that symbol. Okay. All right, so I know I need that, so I will go ahead and I want a second turn, so that'll be an I, an I, squiggly, squiggly, and there we go. Okay. No one's reached the top yet, that's good. All right, uh, so I was the second player. So I get to choose which tile to discard. Okay. Uh, And I'm going to go first next turn. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one. All right. Possibly, John. Possibly. All right. So I have to rotate one. There. No, wait, 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 wait. I will rotate this one. I get this, you guys get that. Uh. 
Oh, I see what I should have done instead of that. But it's written, so be it. Doesn't have an eraser. All right. Yes, the pencil does. I understand that. But All right. So there's this one. Somebody holler at me. Let me know when somebody's done. for, And I can go and roll for your guys' turn. I know I cannot build up there until I get that, so. All right, well. Okay, timing's been good. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. So uh, ideally, I would like a one or a two. So if you guys could roll a one or a two here, that'd be great. Perfect, well done. Well done, everybody. <clears throat> Glory to Rome to you guys. All right, so I get the bottom of this one. You guys get the tops of one of those, or if you're using this, then you would get the tops of both. All right. Oh, I cannot. No, do not put it here, Edward. Don't you dare. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that works out. <laughs> All right. I am going to go here. So that will be. There we go. That'll be squiggly. Squiggly. Cane. Bobby pin and Bobby pin. Oh, too complete. Um, here, I'll just go ahead and put that. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so that worked out. What? What? All right. All right. So you guys went first on this one, so we will now roll to figure out which one is going to go away. Honestly, I don't care at this point. That's fine. I mean, I'm sure I could figure out a way to use that, but yeah, whatever. Okay, here we go. Five. I feel like I'm not rolling really well, so I'm gonna start using Dice Tower for this. Okay, so that one goes away. We will draw another. There we go. All right. So let's see. Uh, you guys went second, so it's now your turn. You know what? If only I had a challenge coin. Let's try not to rip the computer out of the wall this time. That'd be great. When it's on here, I'm first. It's not, so you're first. Here we go. Two. So we're gonna rotate that one. So you guys get the top of this or this. So in other words, you're getting that cross symbol. I get that one. Okay. Okay. So what do we want with that now? Hmm. You know what? It's going to go away here soon, so I might as well. So now the question is, where do I want to put that? I think I'd put it right here. So that'll be a half moon or a sliver moon, whatever. Squiggly, squiggly, and circle, and a couple of lines through it. That was terrible. Used the wrong pen. 
Ooh, got another glory to Rome. We're at two. All right. <laughs> Remember, when somebody hits this line, shout out. Okay. Yeah, that seemed pretty good. All right. <laughs> nice. All right, so it is my turn now. What do I want? Hmm. Ideally, I think I want, to, nope, that one. Yeah, all right. Oh, there's another, oh wow, I, 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 uh, I undershot, it looks like, for this. All right, there you go, Asher, one for you. Okay, so it is my turn, assuming you guys have had enough time now. So I am going to rotate this one, so you're welcome, I give you that to the bottom. All because I want that other symbol to be able to go right here. So now it's a question of which of these do we want? Um, yep, that works. So I'm going to go there. Okay, so that is... Squigglies, there and there, there, and the cane. All right. And do I want a second turn? Hmm. So basically what I, what I, in a sense, did was now, well, you know what? I don't think there are any two, but these two spots right there are pretty much holes now. Um, don't want or need any more squares. Well, it sounds like a personal problem. Uh, do I want to rotate any of these? And do I want, well, oh, wow. I just realized it's same symbols, same symbols. I don't, I think I'll wait. So I am going to become the first player and I'm going to choose one of these to get rid of. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of this one. There we go. All right, so I am the first player now. So what one do I want to rotate? And I have the exact same three options. Oh, well, since you guys seem so excited about getting more squares, here you go. Have a square. Everybody gets a square except for me. I get the T, you guys get the square. All right. So I think, what, can, what symbol am I missing here? The I. So I want an I on that. So if I put an I here, Oh, nothing's built there. I can't yet. Oh, right. Hmm. All right. Well, in that case, that's okay. So I there, and now all of this is gone, but it already was already used up. But just to be clear. That's now gone to me, but I used it all already. There we go. Okay, so now, do I want to take another turn? Unfortunately, I am not planning this out. I need that L, and there are no L's. Ugh. I need two L's. I need one for that and one for that, right? So, yeah. Or a straight. Like a straight would have been great, but apparently I threw that one away because I'm an idiot. 
That was the literal meanest move of you. Think of it as me learning from you, Rainer. Okay? <laughs> uh, all right, so now it's y'all's turn. Here we go. Five. So five will rotate, meaning this rotates, which means you guys get either this or this, and I get the square. Might as well. Ooh, careful with this. So I need the eye, so I need it over there. I will do that. Okay. That square just ruined everything. All right, Asher, take care. <laughs> oh, this makes me happy. All right. So I am done. Now, you guys have to choose which one to get rid of. All right, the first one goes away. So that one goes away. And y'all are first now, so. The first one gets rotated, which means I get this symbol you guys get that or that. This is not going how I want it to go. I so want to feel that this is killing me. All right, I think I punt at this point and just say to heck with it. And I'll be able to get... Breaks my heart. <laughs> oh, am I going to be able to get that symbol? None of them are available. Oh, I just don't trust you people. You know what? I might be able to. So... Okay. Ah, oh, it's not built there. That is brutal. <laughs> oh, what the hell do I do with that? I really don't know. All right. Screw it, I guess. I hate that choice, honestly, but it is what it is. All right. I'm getting texts from Rainer as he's basically very nicely cussing me out. Um, all right, so it's my turn. Oh, that's actually not so bad. Here you go. I get this one. Y'all get that one. So all of that is filled in now. 
We'll try that. We'll see. We'll see how that works. All right. So let's see. <laughs> oh. So I'm debating which one I'm going to throw away at this point. Honestly, I'm just going to throw this one away. So that'll come out. That'll go there. All right. So now it's my turn to go first. And that worked out really, really, really well. So I get the top. Y'all get the bottom. And I needed that. Okay. Finally, I got those closed in. Finally. Oh, yeah. I know what you guys need to roll. Everyone ready? Y'all, y'all good with this? Y'all having a good time with this, I hope. Well, everyone but Rainer, apparently. <laughs> All right, so that was my turn. So you guys have to roll. Basically, I need y'all to roll a one, two, or a five, or a six, and I'm happy. Can y'all can y'all make that happen? That'd be great. Seriously, that still might work out. No, it won't. Glory to Rome. You guys get that or that, I get this. Yeah. Really? All right. Well, I can throw some symbols out, but what do I need? I need to make sure I don't mess with that. Nope. 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 Oh, okay. I hate it, but... Oh, Lars reached the top line. Really? Damn you, Lars and Rainer. I need, oh, one more round. No. Oh. Glory to Rome again. It took too long focusing on that one spot right here. All right. So that actually ends the game because I went first. You guys went second. So there we go. Well, okay. So now we go through scoring. If you, whatever you got over here, however many, so I got nine, so I will just tally mine up over here, so nine for that. Then, uh, what lines you reached over here, that'll be another three, so I'm now at 12. So, I reached this line, so I'm going to get three. If you reach that one, you're going to get five. And then, for every column, uh, one victory point per symbol of one type. It's your choice. Like for this column here, it won't matter because they're all different. But for me, I'll choose eyeballs there because that's going to be two. So that's going to be one point, two points, uh, two of the little globe things. That's two, three squigglies, and two of the little crossy things. 
So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we're at 22 for me. And then every row for every different symbol, you will score 3, 5, 8, or 13. Okay, so for instance, this bottom one and this one both have different symbols. Five different symbols, that's 13. If I'd had four different symbols, that'd be 8. So that's 13, 13. I have one, two, three different. So that's going to be five points for that one. And this one, I have four different. So that's going to be eight points. So 13, 26, 26, 34, 39. That's uh, 50, 61. Oh, you get each of these. Oh, okay, so I use that, so add nine more. So I got 70. So if you use them all, so that's 12, 18, so that's 70 points. Oh, God, Rainer got 95. Are you kidding me? I thought my 70 had a chance. No, not even close. All right, so what you guys, what, what scores are we looking at here? All right. Oh, for schools and levels, which means I would have gotten two more points. So those are cumulative. 72 and final. <laughs> 72. God, everybody beat me? Really? I want to see the other scores. Come on, let's go. Rocky, Irene, Lars. Hey, all right, I didn't finish dead last. So there's that. But the way I see it, Martha, Eric, Rainer, I didn't teach. But you know what? Hey, good teacher on my end. I'll take that. <laughs> I thought I did well. Well, I earned that glory to Rome then, didn't I, Lars? Yeah, exactly, right? He got a 95 while, while texting me nastiness. <laughs> no, Brianna, it's okay. You can play afterwards. It's okay. You tell everybody can play afterwards. I hope, so if you're watching this after the fact, write your scores down underneath. Um, you just get the satisfaction of beating me, unless apparently you're Lars. So thank you, Lars, for a little bit of the, uh, of the confidence boost since my day is going apparently so terribly today. I appreciate it. 81, Andrew? That's sad. All right. Yeah, I waited too long for the long one as well. Uh, that usually is, is my downfall in Tetris as well, I noticed. Um... <laughs> Mike says, for all the work I got done during the stream, I might as well have played. <laughs> all right. That's awesome. Yep, exactly. Lars, I, I can relate. I totally can. It's funny. I was killing myself for five points, which would have given me 77. Wee! All right. So there's that. But good, good stuff. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I appreciate you guys. Uh, live persevering through the uh, technical hiccups that we had today, but uh, that was fun. Thanks, everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Rainer, because I know um, you'll be able to tell me when uh, when is this going to be available for release or, yeah, how's this going to, or is it just the print and play that you are going to keep it as? What is it? Yeah, perfect is the enemy of good in games like, I agree, Eric, and I tried to be perfect and failed miserably, but that's okay. In the end, it's all about having fun, and here we go. We got to play with folks around the world, so yay. That's a win, right? So we all won. Think of it that way. Um, okay. Oh, cool. So this is just the print and play for COVID support. So there you go. So go and download it. Play it with your friends. Have fun with it. Whatever. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Aishwarya 
uh, says, thanks for the game. Please do more play-alongs. I got a 66. All right. We might. We might could do this one again or something else. If you guys have any recommendations on games you'd like me to stream that you guys can play along with like this, leave a comment down below as well. All right? Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, there you go. Thanks, Rainer. I appreciate it. And thanks to everybody over at uh, Board and Dice for this. This was a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumb, subscribe, support the show over on PledgeHC.com. I certainly would appreciate it. And I will be back on Wednesday with Tekenu, Obelisk of the Sun, the big game of this, but solo. Since we already did a live stream of it multiplayer last week, thought I would do a solo of it later on this, excuse me, later on this week. Have some fun with you guys. I'm sure Rainer's going to hang out with us. That'll be at 3 p.m. on Wednesday, so the exact same time in theory as this uh, next week, or in two days, Wednesday. Whew. All right. All right. Good stuff. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks to uh, Philip for designing it. Thanks for Rainer for coming up with the streamable little uh, modifications to the rules. And thanks to everybody out there for the support, the kind words. I appreciate it. And, uh, and hanging out and watching, like I said, and the support. So go download it. It's free. All right. Support these guys. Take care, everybody. Wear your mask, social distance, be kind to one another, and I'll see you guys at Wednesday. So what is that, like 45, 46 and a half hours? I'll see you all then. Take care, everybody. And I thought my 70 or 72 or whatever was going to be good. <laughs> Oof.